In this video, I'll show you how to connect your PC computer with your HP DeskJet 4255E. I'll show you how to print from your computer using the Wi-Fi and also how to scan and get the results directly on it. So let's get started right away. First step is to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. And this is all done using your computer. But before doing so, we need to make sure that it's in pairing mode. So go over here, this is the control panel of this printer and you should see the Wi-Fi logo over here and on the top a small light. If it's a blue light that is flashing blue, it's great. It means that it's in pairing mode, you don't have to do anything. If your light right over there it's not flashing blue, like uh, well in my case right now, you see it's just staying blue like that well you need to put your printer in pairing mode and how do you do so very easy take two fingers and you're gonna press one on the x button and the other one on the wi-fi button both okay for around three four seconds until the power button starts blinking so i'm doing this with you i'm pressing both Okay, the power button is blinking, I can release. And take a look now, the blue light right over there is now flashing. Great, now let's go on the PC computer. So on the PC, you need to open the Microsoft Store. It's this one right over here. It should look like that and you should have it on your bar. If you don't see it, go in the search and start typing Microsoft and one of the results will be Microsoft Store. Okay, so let's go and open this up. Then on the top, you need to search for the HP Smart App. Right on the top here, type HP Smart and click on HP Smart. Now click on HP Smart. In my case, I already downloaded, but if not, you're gonna see the download button right over here. Go ahead, download it and open the app. Press accept all or decline optional data. It's up to you if you want to share your personal information with HP. Then click on set up a new printer right over there. It will search for your HP DeskJet 4255E and it should appear right over there. Click on it. Click on, I mean, setup right here. Then press continue. Press continue or no thanks. If you choose no thanks, okay, I'll just show you. You'll have to enter manually the Wi-Fi password of your the Wi-Fi network that this computer is connected to. Okay, so I'll do it right now. If you would have press OK or continue before, you won't have to enter it manually. Okay, press connect at this point. Wait a few seconds and the printer will be connected to your Wi-Fi. At some point, they will ask you to press the I button. Let's just wait, here we go. They ask you to press the I button. And what you need to do now is to go on the control panel of your printer and press on this button right here once. And the setup on your PC will continue. Okay, it has now been connected. We got the green check mark, press continue. Then press continue. Here is the main screen of your HP app. And now let me show you how you can print from your PC computer. You don't really need the app to do so. I mean, you can do it by pressing print document here or print photo. Go in on your PC and open any pictures or PDF document that you like to print. Let's say this one here. Go and press the print button right there. Go on the left side. Go on the left side, select your HP printer. Here we go, this one, HP DeskJet 4200 series. Make sure these uh, options over here are okay with the project you're trying to print. So how many copies, portrait landscape, how many pages, I mean, the page range, color or black and white. Again, it's really up to you. And at the end, press print. Open this and here is our print. If you want to use the scanner of this printer, this printer has two different scanners. It has a top document feeder here. If you have multiple pages you like to scan at the same time, let's say you have 15 pages. Let me just demonstrate with two. 
And by the way, after that, I'll show you how to use the basic scanner. So I have two pages. I have aligned them, place them facing up with the top part of your document towards the left side and glide it through this opening here, just like that. Now let's go on the laptop. We need to open the scan app. This is an app made by Microsoft and many PC computer comes with it included. You don't have to download anything. But if yours wasn't included with your PC, well, just go and search here and type scan. You should see this appearing. If you don't see it, go into the Windows Microsoft Store, type scan and download the Microsoft scan app. Okay, so I'll open it since I already have it. On the top left corner, select your printer. Source, uh, select feeder if you have put the paper the way I just did on the top document feeder. File type, select in which file type you'd like this to come. So let's say in PDF, I'll choose that. If you select PDF, it will combine all the pages in one single PDF file. You can press show more and you have more options over here. At the end, press scan and wait. The printer will take one by one each pages. You see, I'm not touching anything. So let's come back when this is done. You should get a message on the top telling you that the scan has been saved and it will be saved in the folder that you have selected right on the, I mean, on the left side here. All right, so the file has been saved on my PC. Now, how do you use the basic scanner over here? Well, open the lid, okay? Could be letter size, could be even smaller size. Let's say I have a smaller size paper here, okay? Take it and place it facing down and align the corner of your paper with the top left corner of your scanner. So make sure both of these are touching. Make also sure that the top part of your scan, imagine this is some text written over there, is towards the left side. Close the lid. And now the only difference is that on the left side, instead of uh, selecting feeder, select flatbed. This is it. Uh, then you can modify the settings the same way you did and press scan. And here we go. We got our confirmation that it was saved on the desktop because this is what I have selected there. You can click view and it will open the file or you can go in the folder where it's saved and click on it to open it. Here we go. This is our scan. So this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you want to get some paper or some ink for your printer, please check my Amazon affiliate links down below. You support my channel every time you go through them since I get a very small commission. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.